Last year, the surprise of the season was 0-8 Hereford taking down a Randall team that was one win away from an outright district championship. This year, both teams are extra hungry for a win, and they want the highest seed possible before heading into the playoffs. Our kids have heard ever since that game last year of how, you know, we shouldn't have beat Randall and, you know, we, we, we snuck up on them or, or, you know, we caught them sleeping or whatever it might be, you know, so our kids... Our kids still have that, that mentality of, you know, we felt like we could play with anybody and that we should never be counted out. They just want to win. They want to go out there and they want to prove what they're capable of doing and I'm the exact same way, so all that matters is us going out and executing. Randall and Hereford currently sit in second and third, respectively, in District 3-4A, and while Hereford is coming off of a bye week, Randall is gearing up for their 10th straight week of uninterrupted football as their bye week is the last week of the season. Sometimes you hold back a little bit, uh, but whenever you got a bye week like this coming up after this game, it just gives you a little bit extra motivation to know that you're gonna get a little bit longer rest, a little bit longer recovery time to be able to go out there and really, really give it everything that you have. With playoff seating up for grabs, it's sure to be a good one at Happy State Bank Stadium on Friday. Preston Moore, News Channel 10 Sports.